Or what should all of us understand? What should everyone in the church at Thyatira have understood? They knew what happened to Jezebel. They knew that God prophesied her utter destruction. And he brought it about. And so now in Revelation chapter 2, God says, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to cast her on the sickbed. I'm going to afflict her children with death. And if he followed through with Jezebel in history, then you better take very seriously what he's saying to the church at Thyatira now. Especially when you place Revelation chapter 2 within the context of the revelation it's making of who Jesus is. The one walking in the seven, amongst the seven candlesticks, the churches. The one who has that sharp two-edged sword coming out of his mouth. The one who will rule the nations. And he says, I am going to do this. We need to hear. We need to recognize that the end result of this kind of idolatrous worldview is destruction. And it's not just destruction of the person doing it. They normally take a lot of other people with them. They take a lot of other people with them. So let me go back to what my brother said and make the connection that he made. And ask the question, are we being mean-spirited? Are we being too unkind? I mean, the new regime's only been in power for like, what? Less than two weeks? Yeah. 10, 11 days? How can you possibly be saying anything negative yet? Well, because <laughs> I'm reading the flood of executive orders, maybe? Because I'm seeing that this new regime is doing exactly what it said it would do? six months or so more ago in regards to abortion, transgenderism, all these things because they're, they're being consistent with their worldview maybe? What was said was, I don't think the people of Israel would have looked at Jezebel as an example of a woman in power and said to their daughters, emulate her. Why? Because it doesn't matter if you're a woman and it doesn't matter if you have power if you are corrupt on the inside. If the world view that you are presenting is corrupt, then you do not take your children and go, be like that person. Yes, the world view they're promoting is the culture of death. But oh, they're so good at promoting it. And maybe you can be good at promoting something else someday. No, you don't do that. I honestly think, I, I don't know where this is coming from, I, I obviously have theories, but it's difficult for me to fully imagine this, but I'm hearing so many men who five years ago, ten years ago, I wouldn't have even hesitated to see this person as a brother in Christ. And yet, where is this hesitation coming from? to boldly, openly, fairly, and biblically say to the world around us, the culture of death is evil and must be repented of. Holding to that cultural perspective will bring you death, not life. And not just for you, but for all those around you. Why? How can there be a hesitation? For any father, for any husband, to look to the commitment of the current regime, to press through, to ram through, the legislative process in this nation, the Abomination Act, 
They call it the Equality Act. I think we need to describe it for what it is. How can people be sitting back going, well, that's just politics. No, that's your daughter, sir. That's your son, sir. That's your children. How, how can anyone say, well, you know, you just don't want to be partisan. This is not something about Democrats and Republicans. This is between life and death, and we need to be partisan about that. We have to be. How can we be silent? And so, people have said, well, you need to understand. That term Jezebel can have other meanings. Okay. That, that term Jezebel, I've been told, I don't know this, but I've been told, has uh, specific meanings in the black community. Okay. Which is more important? Jesus' interpretation of who Jezebel was or an interpretation of any community 2,000 years later? And what was Pastor Buck talking about? What are we talking about when we try to wake people up and say, listen, there is no neutrality in these things. If you have an entire governmental structure that stands up and says, we may have once believed that these rights were given to us by God, but we don't believe any of that anymore. We don't believe there's any God. We don't believe there is any law above that of the state. And we are going to say that we now get to define what marriage is. And we get to define what humanity is. And if we want to promote the idea that one day you can be a male and the next day you can be a female and the third day you can be a combination of something. A free spirit to tribe I don't know. I can't even keep up with them. When that society turns its back upon the God that blessed it and says, we're going to take every good gift you gave us and pervert it. What are we supposed to tell that society? Well, um, you know... I wouldn't suggest that, but we can't really talk about politics. If you love them, what will you tell them? Run! Flee! Repent! Jezebel did not come to a good end. The Jezebel and Thyatira did not come to a good end. And if we have people today who take positions of power and then use those positions of power to fundamentally promote rebellion against God, we need to tell people your end will not be a good end. God will bring judgment. And that judgment is absolutely certain. 